Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install this thermometer on this smoker. Stay tuned. This is the stock thermometer that came with my Bayou Classic Smoker. It's a generic, cheaply made thermometer that probably gets put on thousands and thousands of cooking devices every year. Not particularly good. Um, here's what I'm going to replace it with. I'm going to replace it with a Teltru. I've got the black dial on it, and I got the longer stem, the 4-inch stem. Really beautiful. Only problem is, when I take out my thermometer, the thread on this thermometer is a lot smaller than the thread on the Teltru. So I am going to have to take a drill bit and make the hole a little bigger on my smoker. What I've got here is a step drill bit. Um, it's designed to take a little bit of metal out at a time instead of one big hole. And I need a seventh seven eighths inch hole in order to fit the Teltru. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a sheet over the cooking grates and everything on my smoker. I don't want any metal shards or scraps to get in there and this will just catch it all, make clean up nice and easy. I've got the step drill bit loaded into um, my corded drill and I've got a can of WD-40. That's just to kind of lubricate the drill bit. The drill bit gets really hot so I'm going to use that it's going to make the front of my smoker a little messy. You might want to try to be a little bit more precise with it, with it than I am. But as you can see here, and I'm kind of speeding this up, um, keep drilling. It takes a little bit, especially to get started. It took quite a bit. But once it got going, it really got in there pretty good. And I kept going until I got to the mark on the drill bit that said 7 eighths. Once I got that all done, kind of wiped it down a little bit, and then I opened up the lid. And I want to kind of hit it with the drill bit from the inside of the cover just to take off any burrs or take off any sharp edges. So I just propped it open, kind of gave it a couple revolutions going that way just to smooth it out. Now, the problem is this is exposed metal now. I do not want this exposed metal to be out there um, in the elements. So I made sure the smoker thermometer fit, cleaned up my sheet, folded it all up, got rid of all the scrap, nice and easy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a can of high temperature spray paint. And I don't really want to spray paint my smoker. So I sprayed a little bit in the cap and I just took a little tiny handheld artist brush and I gave a couple coats around there and let it dry for a while. Let it sit for a good 5-10 minutes to dry up. Now I can actually go and install the thermometer. Make sure you have the washer and nut set. Um, the way it goes is you put the thermometer on, then the washer. Those both go on the outside, okay? And then the nut, retaining nut, goes on the inside to hold it in there. You don't need to get wrenches and really tighten this down. You can kind of tighten it down by hand. So I put the thermometer and the washer on, and then you open up the lid, and by hand tighten that nut down. Um, the nut has a smaller little, like, cylinder on it, and that goes facing the uh, lid so you can get a good tight squeeze on there. Now they say try not to rotate the thermometer by hand. Kind of get it aligned the way you want it to, tighten it down, and call it a day. Um, I've heard that if you rotate them by hand you can throw off the calibration. So you can see here I'm kind of just ever so slightly tweaking it and there it is installed. Got a little cleanup to do on my smoker and that should be it. As always thanks for watching. Please be sure that you click the subscribe button down below Tell a friend, and we'll see you soon.